I actually remember from having watching Dave's, you know, most of my life, your character of Orpheus coming on the show in the 80s and causing all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, tr- drama. And now, 30 years later, we see you back on the screen as Orpheus terrorizing Salem. How surprised were you when you got the call to come back to Days of Our Lives? Uh, I, I, you could have knocked me over with a feather. I mean, I was just stunned. I, 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 I had to have it repeated to me. I said, that, I said, well, that's the most random, unexpected, out of the blue thing I've ever heard. I said, I, I, I can't believe that. I mean, what an idea. I said, well, first of all, he's dead, isn't he? I mean, didn't he get shot? And they said, well, you know, in <clears throat> traditional soap fashion, there are ways around it. And they said, so don't worry about that. And I said, well, I thought about it for all of two seconds, and I said, yes, of course. That sounds like the most incredibly interesting, fun thing to do, because because um, I just thought, what when in life well, certainly in the theatrical life, but to revisit something you did 30, nearly 30, it was 29 plus years ago, that uh, you did something 30 years ago, three decades ago, and, and the same character, it just it just doesn't happen. I, I, I just, I've never heard of such a thing, and, and with the same people, I mean, a lot of the same actors, and, and, uh, and to just go back and revisit, relive, um, Reimagine something. I, I I just thought, wow, what a what an extraordinary opportunity. Just from a, I don't know, just from an art, artistic point of view. Just thought it would be so fascinating, even from a human point of view. Um, and it was everything I hoped it would be, and more. I I was thrilled with the experience, with the people, with the uh, reception I received from the actors, old friends I have not seen in all that time. And um, they were just kind and generous and helpful, and and uh, I just had a, I had the best time, uh, really. But I was surprised. I was stunned. I still think it's one of the yeah, most. Well, it was so out, long out ago, and it. Uh huh. It was so long ago, and then knowing, you know, I remember, you know, the main Orpheus scenes were with Marlena and Roman mm-hmm. and and Steve and Kayla, and now with these scenes that we're seeing with Orpheus breaking out of jail, you are working with those same actors. Again, it's great that they welcomed you back. I was wondering, you know, did you guys, like, have to refresh your memories on what happened with those stories? <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. There was a little bit of that um, where we where we said, well, didn't this happen or this or that? And, of course, there's stuff online on YouTube and stuff you can watch, uh, uh, snippets and videos. Um but I, I dragged out an old VHS copy of my last scene of being shot uh, on the island by by uh, Drake Rome, playing Roman, but it was in, turned out it's John Black. But <clears throat> mm-hmm. and so I watched that with my family to show them, and there I was with a mullet and looking much much younger. And uh, um, so we didn't do too much, uh, having to refresh too much, but. Um, but uh, I, yeah, I, I was, I was just, it, we, we didn't have to do much catching up either. Just, it just, it's almost like we just picked up where we left off. It was, it was really nice. It, it just really, really a warm, happy experience. Well, how do you like uh, working with James Reed and Paul Telfer? Uh, they played Clyde and Xander, the two partners in crime to Orpheus. Well, these gentlemen I'd never met, and um, mm-hmm. I, I know just James Reed just basically because we're the same generation of actors, and we were, you know, kicking around here at the same time, coming up uh, as young actors. But I'd never worked with him, and I've just seen him at auditions as a younger actor. And then, and, and Paul, I had never met. Um, but uh, it was it, it, it was so much fun to work with them, and I. I'm enjoying watching the scenes because I think there's a real, there's a nice chemistry there. There's a nice uh, flow between us, and um, and so we developed, I think, a kind of uh, trust uh, relatively quickly in terms of working together. And I like the way the characters are differentiated. They're 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 um, they're unique in the sense that one is one is a hothead, reflexive. Uh, emotional uh, type in, in uh, Xander, and then you've got this kind of uh, 
oh, street smart, homespun country kind of character uh, who's uh, a little more mature, but, you know, just a different sort of social strata and education level, but real wise and, like I say, a, a man of, of the of the of, of country and and then you have uh, and then you have this sort of cerebral psychopath and uh, yeah, or sociopath in uh, in um, in Orpheus and uh, who's obviously very well educated and well read and and uh, he is uh, driven by blind uh, hatred and so and and revenge. Um, and so it's interesting to you know see them all three play off each other, and of course there are problems, and the characters compete, and all of that. Um, but uh, but it worked out quite well. We we enjoy. I think we all enjoyed ourselves working together. And I was glad. Yeah, to meet I them. absolutely agree with you about the dynamics of of the three different characters. I especially enjoy Orpheus and Xander because yeah, as you said, Orpheus is the one who's very methodical. We stick with the plan. We don't, you know. And Xander's like, let's go kill everybody now. You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> right. I think it's very fun uh, mm-hmm. to see what's. And it's also just a real, I, in my opinion, the storyline is a real like caffeine shot to the to soap because uh, you know, it's just nobody knows where these guys are going to show up next, who they're going to terrorize next, what's going to happen. I mean, I, I, I'm really enjoying the show. So, you know, being in the soap opera, again, after having been away, you know, for 30 years, do you find, like, the experience of being on a soap opera has changed? I mean, I always hear how fast the pace is now as compared to, like, how it was in, you know, 87 or 88, you know. Absolutely. It's changed uh, dramatically. Uh, <clears throat> I was uh, forewarned of this by uh, one of the producers called me and sort of welcomed me over the phone and said, we're looking forward to having you. And I just wanted to walk through the, the system now. It's a little different than you remember it, the pace and structure of how we do things. I said, okay. And he basically said, you know, we're, we come in at a certain time in the morning and then we're out by five o'clock every day. It's a hard out. He said, you can, you can schedule your dinner reservations if you want, because we're not staying over. And we're going to do basically a show and about a third, 1.3 shows a day, basically. We do a full script plus at least a third, sometimes more, of another episode. And so we move very quickly, and um, and what that means is you're going to have to come in, get the hair and makeup, uh, do you get in, in your wardrobe, go to a quick uh, a, a run-through rehearsal, quick rehearsal, and then be ready for camera block. And we, right after the first camera block, which is you run through the scene for the camera, for the for the crew, and uh, they get their instructions from the director, and then we shoot it. And we want to get it in one take. And we're not going to do multiple takes, and so um, so it's going to move fast. So I said, so in other words, come in with your lines memorized, get dressed, get in makeup, and get ready to do it. <laughs> he said, yes, basically <laughs> that. So I went, okay. And um, and it was great, actually. I found it uh, a challenge. I I found it, uh, um, I think it was um, Samuel Johnson who said something like, nothing concentrates the mind like the prospect of being of a hanging or being hung, you know, and um, or something to that effect. And it's kind of like that, you know, nothing concentrates the mind like knowing you've got to do this now quickly. And uh, so you, you tend to, you know, really get into your three-point stance, as a, you know, use a, a football metaphor, and get ready to have the ball hiked and go because there's not a lot of, it's not going to be a lot of uh, just, messing around or wasting time you're just going to have to get to it and be prepared and and i think in the the whole cast is that way people are ready people there's no cue cards people don't read things off some somebody holding a card or something and 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 they're concentrated and prepared and uh it's 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 a it's a great exercise for an actor um and uh i really loved it i, I really i mean like i say it was the first week i was so tired, I felt like I could collapse. So at the end of the week, I was, my mind was tired. It was felt like you know, 
meat that had been sort of, <laughs> you know, beaten or, uh, a, uh, you know, with a mallet. It was just, my brain was just so, so, um, so tired, and uh, that I just pretty much slept all weekend. But you get you, you got you you get more and more used to it as you go along, and um, and I've just found it a fascinating exercise. I I said to people, it's kind of like summer stock in theater. You know, we got this play to do. Let's learn the lines. We open Friday. You know what I mean? And you just yeah you know, learn a, learn an entire play and the blocking and and everything, and you're up. You know, is you don't have a lot of time to to talk about it or think about it. So. In a way, it was like summer stock in terms of, uh, of acting for camera, and and I I liked I liked the challenge. I liked it. It was it was interesting. Well, yeah, I think the actors, you know, they're very good in the soaps. It's got to be the hard one of the hardest ways to act. You don't have the luxury of a lot of rehearsal or a lot of time. You know, it's very much right. just that breakneck pace, and to make it work at the breakneck pace is just, I think, must take an incredible amount of skill. You know, and like you said, just real sharp focus. Um, yeah, concentration. I mean, honestly, like a, there were days where there were. I mean, if, sorry to interrupt, but in the in back in. You know, my original uh, tenure there, there was, um, I mean, I thought it was, thought it was fast then. Everybody thought it was fast. And you would do a whole script, which could be, you know, 70, 80 pages in a day. And um, and the day could be from 6 a.m. to 7, 8 o'clock at night. You know, you just stay till it was done. And, um, mm -hmm. and so... You know, you rehearse, and then you go away and think about it and talk to other actors and take your time and come back another two hours later and then for a camera block, and then you'd go away again and come back. And so it was it was a little bit, there was just a little more time in the day to process it. And um, and this was so quick, I I sometimes would have, you know, 25, 30, 30 pages of dialogue and be home by 10.30 in the morning, you know, because it went that fast. And... Um, so it was really amazing, and 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 for example, you know, just to give you a, a sense of it, you know, if you're doing a feature film, you're probably shooting a page to a page and a half a day, you know, because you're lighting, you're rehearsing, there's all kinds of stuff that goes into it, and um, and and lots of coverage, and uh, and then if you're doing a nighttime, sh uh, prime time show, you might be doing eight to ten pages a day. And uh, and long days, but nevertheless, eight to ten pages. And and uh, when you're talking about now doing over a hundred pages a day, I mean, you know, that's that's quite a jump, you know. So I think the people that do it have a real admirable skill set, you know. I think sometimes people tend to look down on actors who do this kind of work. I mean, some people do, and I never have, A, because I've done it, and B, because I know what it takes, how hard it is, and I respect people who who do that and, and work that quickly and have to make it work incredible and, and have relationships and all that. I, I, I have nothing but admiration for people who work day in and day out doing that. It's hard, hard work, and they're dedicated and good actors, 